more good news for President Trump. But I want to run this one by you folks, because I don't know if I'm quite understanding how this is happening. So I run it by the folks. Now, I'm watching, listening to CNN, you know, XM Radio while I'm out here on my day job. And apparently, Kamala Harris, Vice President Harris, her favorable numbers are down three points since August. Yet Trump's are going up. Now, they have... Now, neither one of these characters are very favorable at all. I mean, there's a lot of people that love and hate Trump, and apparently nobody really seems to love Kamala Harris at all, which is why I actually want to run this by you folks and see what your opinion on this is. Now, uh, they have Kamala Harris. Her unfavorable numbers are at, four, are at 53%. Unfavorable, 53%. That's more than half. They got Trump at 50%. So Kamala Harris is actually more unfavorable than Trump. And her unfavorable numbers have increased three points since August. So since she came on the scene, running for the nation's highest office, people actually like her less than they did when she was vice president. Something about Kamala Harris is not resonating with the American voter. That's what I want to run by you. I would like to get your opinion on that. Now, obviously, with former President Trump, there's people who love him and people who hate him, but it is explainable. Fact is, Trump says a lot of controversial shit and attacks a hell of a lot of people. So it makes sense that he would have some enemies. After all, he came down the golden escalator promising to drain the swamp. Clearly the swamp creatures are not going to like him, but why are so many people on the wrong side of Kamala Harris is what I want to find out from you folks. Now, I get it. She doesn't answer questions, and I'm not going to pretend like she does. She's had a host of interviews that outright suck, if you ask yours truly. But nevertheless, I don't see this as a reason to dislike her. Perhaps not the best choice for a commander-in-chief. We can debate that and discuss that. But she actually has unfavorable ratings that are higher than Trump. Now, they do the unfavorable, and they do the favorable. So, obviously, these are interchangeable. And of course, Trump's favorable numbers are also better than Kamala Harris. So we know in recent days, General Kelly came out and suggested that Trump wants to have or stated that he wanted generals that are similar to what Adolf had in Germany. And we know General Milley has also said that Trump's a fascist and all of this stuff, yet his favorable numbers are going up. So apparently a lot of folks do not believe what these folks are saying. Perhaps I don't know. I actually have talked to some supporters of Trump that believe his administration was ran so well. America was doing uh, or better yet operating so effectively that he actually stated these words. And this is a quote. Him being a dictator might not be that bad of a thing. And I will run that by you. Now, this is going to sound somewhat outrageous to some, but it might resonate to others. I have talked to some Trump supporters that do not fear or are not concerned with Trump, suggest, you know, folks suggesting he wants to be a dictator because some Trump supporters do not think that would be a bad thing. That he has been so effective at running this country, maybe having him around for more than four years might be in their best interest. This is why I strongly believe myself, after talking to hundreds, if not thousands of MAGA over the years, I strongly believe why the the dictator uh, label that the, the liberals and some of his own former employees are trying to affix to Trump, why it's not hurting him. Because many of his supporters feel like that actually might be beneficial to this great nation, to have someone like Trump around for a longer period of time. Currently, if you go by the Constitution and the way the country was founded, Trump gets a maximum of four more years. Now, keep in mind, the guy is 78 years old, so it's not like he's going to be around for another 40, 50 years. He's not exactly Fidel Castro or Vladimir Putin or, God forbid, Kim Jong-un, who took control of North Korea in his 30s. Kim Jong-un could be around for quite a while, but Trump at 78, I mean, you're likely to get maybe another solid 10 years out of him at best, but the country could go sharply right in 10 years, could go really far to the right if you had Trump around 
for a solid 10 years. And of course, for my MAGA viewers, that's probably not a bad thing. But I want to conclude by asking that simple question. What is it about Kamala Harris that is less favorable than Trump, despite very little scandals coming out about Kamala Harris? OK, she didn't manage the border properly is what they have been able to affix on her. Fact is, Majorca, Majorca's director of Homeland Security, that's who whose job it was to defend the border or protect the border or secure the border, along with President Biden. The proof that it was Mallorca's job is because they tried to impeach him. They didn't try to impeach Kamala Harris over the border. They went after Mallorca's. So that kind of shows you whose job it was to secure the border. Nevertheless, they've been able to successfully affix the border failures to Kamala Harris. So that, there is that. But why is she doing worse than Trump when there have been a host of labels? We're talking about hundreds of different things. Everybody is fixing everything from fascist to racist to wannabe Hitler to the guy. Yet his support, his favorable numbers are actually going up. Shout out to former President Trump for being able to pull that off. I don't know any other politician in my entire lifetime that would have that much survivability. Up to and including Ronald Reagan, who, by the way, won 49 states when he was elected. I don't know anybody that could survive as much as been thrown at Trump or that he may have earned. I'm not saying everything thrown at Trump was thrown at him wrongfully. Some of the things that have been thrown at Trump, he actually earned. But I want to ask, what the hell is it about Kamala Harris that so many people do not like? Let your boy know in the comments. As always, feel free to smash that like button. Subscribe to the damn channel. Now, I'll see you in the next video.